Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over how to read data on a triple beam balance. So we use triple beam balance um, a lot to measure grams, right? Um, this could be hundreds of grams, you know. There's three um, different lines on the triple beam balance, right? And make sure when you are collecting your data, when you're measuring, that you always measure twice. The first time, you have to measure um, just the container that you're measuring things in so that you know how much the container weighs. And then you weigh the stuff with the container, uh, the stuff with, um, in the container, right, with the container. And then you have to subtract the weight of the container so you're not also including the weight of the container. So that's very important. You also want to make sure that you balance it out first so that it's equal to zero. Right? Because sometimes it's a little off. So you have to balance it off. So, it's, so make sure that it starts off at zero. Then um, in the, the first one, the front, let's pretend this is the front. Um, you have one to ten in grams where it goes in one gram increments. So it goes one gram, two gram, three grams, to ten. And there's little milligrams as well in between. The back one is um, to a hundred in 10 gram increment. So it counts 10, um, 10, 20, 30, all the way to 100 with 10 grams. So the, um, you can move the little scale thing to a certain amount of 1 grams here, 20, um, you know, 30, 40 grams here in tens spots, and then the middle is hundreds. And it goes up to 500 grams. So it goes 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. Um, so you want to start off by moving the bigger piece, right? If you have something that, you know, is maybe 300 grams, you move it to 300. And then maybe it's um, 340, so you even it out to it hits the 40. And then you have to find out how many single digit, um, one digit grams are left. So maybe it ends up being, if it's here, here, and here, you can read the scale then and it says maybe 348 grams. And that would be the answer to how much it weighs. And then of course make sure you weigh it twice um, so that you can subtract the weight of the container that you used. I'm Rachel and thank you for learning with me today.